Hey guys, we're gonna jump right into a uh, update, a uh, new video about uh, upcoming customization, upcoming events, battle pass, all of that. So, let's get into it. Instead of having a 100 tier battle pass, we're gonna be ha having 50 tiers. But it's gonna be different this time because you know how in previous battle passes you had like left shoulder, then right shoulder, a single coding on sort of multiple tiers and stuff. Now all of that is pretty much gone. Now you'll be able to unlock both shoulders instead of having to unlock one after the other in different tiers. They've consolidated the battle pass with the new way they're doing things that includes armor coatings. So no more stuff like uh, coding for the Rakshasa, coding for the Mark 5B, etc. It's going to be, once you unlock the coding, you unlock everything. So it's much better way. It's much better than what, that way. It is going to be less grind, and you'll be able to earn match XP in custom games. Probably not going to be the highest amount of XP, but it's still something for those who like to play custom games. So the premium battle pass will still be a thousand credits, which means just a paid battle pass premium means paid. And it'll you'll be able to get a thousand credits back across its 50 tiers. Also, you'll get the bonus XP slot, and it never expires, all of that as usual, and you'll get an exclusive customization item, just like the other seasons. So the first 20 tiers of the battle pass, of the normal battle pass, will be free, but it's going to be different. All right, so first of all, first you had like free tiers where you got stuff, and then it was like mixed in the battle pass, right? But now it's just like the first 20 will be free. So it won't be like 20 is free, 21 is not free, 22 is free. It's just going to be in order. However, it will, it will you will only be able to unlock the free stuff until November 5th, 14th, 2023. Because they're doing something called operations, which we'll talk about it. It replaces events, like events and it's more in depth. So you will have up until November 14th to get your 20 free battle pass tiers for the main battle pass. So about operations. What are operations? They basically replace events. Instead of um, an event running like two weeks, that's usually w how long they run for, operations will run from four weeks to six weeks. They will have 20 free rewards available to unlock and it will not use challenges but it will be used xp so now you'll use xp to unlock your free stuff including uh custom game xp double xp boost and all of that you'll be able to use for uh to to, to complete the stuff so the way that it works is when an event is live well obviously it'll be free and then once it's done, it'll go away, right? Like events? Kind of. You'll be able to purchase a premium uh, version of the operation for 500 credits, which will make it so you can... It'll stay. It's like a little battle pass that you'll be able to keep with you. You'll also get a exclusive bonus customization item if you pay the 500 credits. And uh, again, it makes it so it doesn't expire. And you, w when you have it, it uh, you get bonus XP and an extra challenge slot during the operations live window. What is unclear if that means we get an extra extra operation slot on top of the battle pass one, an extra extra XP on top of the battle pass or not. That's what is not very clear. So again, for 500 credits, it's yours to keep and you get bonus XP, bonus challenge slot, and a little bit more customization, like a single item more, I guess. And then there's a $2,000 option, which will basically just unlock all 20 tiers and you also get the bonus item. So instead of going away forever, like if you missed it, you can actually go to the shop or the switcher, the battle pass switcher, and once the operation is over, you can actually buy a previous operation. 
So you essentially do not miss out on the event uh, once they're done. So that's really good. It goes against the uh, FOMO, fear of missing out. So the two operations that will be in Season 5 will be Combined Arms, which will begin November 14th, and it has some pretty cool art. It's going to be interesting what they're going to do for that. And then Winter Contingency 3 will begin December 19th, just in time for the winter break, the holiday break. And again, that's going to be four to six weeks. It has some pretty cool and funny customization like the Santa hat. I really like the um, art for the operations. It's honestly pretty cool. Amazing helmets, really cool. So they're definitely changing the way that stuff is done. Events turn into operations, the battle pass changes. Overall, these are definitely different differences. And you can see how they're trying to tie the monetization to it. But I think overall, these are very positive changes. It reduces FOMO, it's more player friendly. Okay, sure, you do need to play, you, you, you cannot unlock all the battle pass stuff that's for free forever like it makes it more limited but at the same time we do get other benefits like longer events etc so i think overall these changes are positive and of course the stuff you unlock is easier it's more concise some of you might be like oh i i like the grind like because it's over the entire season some of you less well that's debatable but Overall, I think these are positive changes. And honestly, you've seen the art in all of this. Those helmets, the armor, they look cool. We have some new Rakshasa stuff, some new Mark V B stuff, some new Mark Seven. It's just all cool in my opinion. And with cross core helmets, that's gonna be even greater. So yeah, I think this is pretty cool so far. I'll uh we'll definitely get more news about things and I'll keep you guys updated, so Alright, see you guys next time.